You may be seated. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Mary, go receive your bride. Eric, I want you to repeat after me. I, Eric, I, Eric, offer myself completely to you. Offer myself completely to you. To be your husband in marriage. To be your husband in marriage. I promise to love you with all my heart. I promise to love you with all my heart. And to be true and faithful. And to be true and faithful. Patient. Patient. Kind. Kind. And unselfish in this love. And unselfish in this love. I promise to stand beside you always. I promise to stand beside you always. In times of joy. In times of joy. In times of trial. In times of trial. And in times of sorrow. And in times of sorrow. I dedicate our marriage. I dedicate our marriage. And our home. And our home. To the Lordship of Jesus Christ. To the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I pledge myself. I pledge myself. And all that I am in love. And all that I am in love. Katie, repeat after me. I, Katie. I, Katie. Offer myself completely to you, Eric. Offer myself completely to you, Eric. To be your wife in marriage. Be your wife and marriage. I promise to love you with all my heart. I promise to love you with all my heart. And to be true and faithful. And be true and faithful. Patient. And patient. Kind. And kind. Unselfish in this love. Unselfish in this love. I promise to stand beside you always. I promise to stand beside you always. In times of joy. In times of joy. In times of trial. In times of trial. In times of sorrow. In times of sorrow. I dedicate our marriage. I dedicate our marriage. And our home. And our home. To the Lordship of Jesus Christ. To the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I pledge myself. I pledge myself. And all that I am in love. And all that I am in love. May I have the rings? <laughs> Eric and Katie. From time immemorial, the ring has been used as important covenants. When the race was young and parliamentary government was not yet in existence, the reigning monarch would place a seal in a ring. And with that seal, he would authenticate the royal edicts. That seal became a sign or the only token of royal authority. Through the years, friends have exchanged a band of gold to prove evidence of friendship, which is true and enduring. When you come to the marital altar, this ring takes on a special meaning, even more beautiful. Here it represents a love that as the ring, it has no beginning or end, and it is made of gold. It signifies that there are no impurities in it. That is the pure and Christian love that God gives us. Father, I pray that as they wear these rings when they exchange them, that through the years, they'll be reminded of these vows that they take as they pledge their love one to another before you. And may your blessings always be wrapped around them so they know that you have an unending love for them, just as their love is to be for each other. In Jesus' name, amen. Eric, will you take her ring mm -hmm. and put it on her hand? Repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. And make you my partner. And make you my partner. Of the material goods. Of the material goods. That God has given me. That God has given. Me. And those which He might give me. And those that which He might give me. In the future. In the future. Now, Katie, and Eric, these rings that you receive will always make you proud as you wear them. And to wear it in the memories of this day and of the vows that are made to the Lord and to you. And Eric, as you wear this ring, given with all of, her, of a young lady's love of her heart, I hope that you will always be proud of it. And Katie, I know that you're giving it as a symbol of your love for Eric and your commitment to Jesus Christ. And may you cherish it, Eric, and wear it until Jesus calls you home. Katie, take his ring and place it upon his finger. And then repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. 
with all my worldly goods, with all my worldly goods and all my heart's affection, and all my heart's affection I, thee endow, I thee endow in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and, the Son, and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And the the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The two outside candles have been lit by your mothers, representing your lives to this moment. They are two distinct lights, each capable of going their own separate ways. To bring joy and harmony to your home, there must be a merging of these two lights into one. This is what the Lord meant when he said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Now Katie and Eric will together light the center candle, thus letting the center candle represent their lives becoming one flesh. As they, the light cannot be divided, neither shall their lives be divided. They do not extinguish their candles, but instead place them back in the original places still lit, symbolizing that their individual personalities remain, yet from this day forward, by God, are merged together as one. It's undeniable that we should be together. to say that I'd fall never. The basis is need to know if you don't know just how I feel. Then let me show you now that I'm for real. If all things in time, time will reveal. One, you're like a dream come true. Two, just want to be with you. Oh, it's plain to see that you're the only one for me. And four, repeat steps one through three, five, make you fall in love with me. If ever I believe my work is done, then I'll start back at one. If ever I believe my work is done, then I'll start back at one. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, your love is always hovering over those that serve you and honor you. We thank you because Katie and Eric have decided to unite their lives in a service to you, asking for the prayers of their parents, the guidance of their pastors, and the support of their churches. I ask you, Father, to honor that request and this wish that you give them victory in their lives, that everything they might try in your name might be successful, that it might be as successful according to your standards and not be measured by our ways. We ask, Father, that in the days of sadness, you might be their comforter. In the days of happiness, you will also be he who listens and rejoices with them. And Father, let the words that have been said here and the feelings which have been expressed become a part of their lives, the lives of Katie and Eric, from now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. For as much as you, Eric, and you, Katie, have consented together in holy wedlock, have witnessed the same before God in this company by pledging your vows each to the other, you've declared it by giving of rings and by the joining of hands, it is my privilege to mount, pronounce that from this moment on, in the sight of heaven and earth, you are now husband and wife. And may God's grace and peace be forever upon you. Eric, you can kiss your bride. Now turn around and face your eyes. On behalf of the Bodmer family and the Laughing Wells and the Fellowship of Faith, I am happy to introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Eric Bodmer. Mm -hmm. 